Assalamu alaikum. Hope you are doing fine. To measure the distance between two points, we use the middle scale. If the distance is a little large, then we use the measuring tape. If you want to measure the distance between Earth and Moon or the distance between Earth and some planet, then we cannot uh, use meter scale or measuring tape. In such case, we use indirect methods such as triangulation method, parallax method, radar method and even laser pulse method. In this video, I am going to discuss about these indirect methods used for the measurement of large distance. Let's go ahead. I will start with the triangulation method. Triangulation method. It is an indirect method used to measure the height of some accessible object. Objects which are uh, nearby place can be measured easily with the help of this method. Suppose uh, there is a tree or a tall tower. Their height can be measured using triangulation method. I consider a tree. Now, I will show you how to measure the height of this tree using this method. But to do so, we consider two points here. One at the top, another at the bottom. Then, these two points are connected. I take this point at the top as A and this point at the bottom as B. So here A B gives the height of the tree. I take that height as H. Now I consider one point as C on the surface of earth. Now I connect these two points. B and C. Now, uh, the distance between B and C can be measured and it is taken as X. Now, if I connect A and C, it forms a right angled triangle. Let me do that. I have connected A and C. This forms a triangle. Here, if you look at this, this angle, angle between AB and BC is at 90 degree. So, this triangle is a right angled triangle. Here we have a right angled triangle ABC. Now, I take a the angle between BC and AC as theta. Then, using this right angle to triangle, tan theta will be equal to opposite side divided by adjacent side. What is opposite side? Here, the side of the right angle triangle which is exactly opposite to this angle theta. So in our case it is nothing but AB. Opposite side is AB. For continuous I write it here, opposite side. And adjacent side is nothing but this, which is done by letter X. This is adjacent side. So it won't be wrong if I write it like this. Opposite side is AB and adjacent side is B, C. 
So I write the same here AB upon BC. Then turn it as script as such. In the place of AB, I write its value. There is nothing but H. H. If people are just move it away. Oh. Then BC is nothing but X. My aim is to find the value of H. So that can be obtained by cross multiplication. I take a X which is in denominator to the right hand, I'm sorry, left hand side. So what will you do? When you do so, tan theta will get multiplied with x. And this is how we get the value of the expression which represents h. So I rearrange it. h is written as the product of tan theta and x. I box this. This is the final equation which provides us the height of any accessible object. Whether it can be a tree or a tall tower. Now, um, here theta is known as angle of elevation. Here, angle of elevation can be obtained with the help of a range finder. Range finder can be made very easily with the help of protractor. Ooh, I repeat, here theta is known as angle of elevation, it can be measured with the help of the range finder. I will solve one problem. This is a problem of 1.1. The question reads that from a point on the ground, the top of a tree is seen to have an angle of elevation 60 degree. The distance between the tree and a point is 50 meter. Calculate the height of the tree. Let's do that. I take the data here. Data given is angle of elevation, which is taken as theta equal to 60 degree. Then the distance between point of observation and the tree is given as 50 meter. So we take the distance as the x is equal to 50 meter in our case. And they ask us to find the height of the tree. So h is unknown. Let's do that. I'm going to use this equation to find the the height of the tree. The solution. Is H equals to the product of X and tan theta. So, it is kept as such. What is X? X is nothing but 50. 50 meter. Then, I multiply this with tan of 60, 60 degree. So what is the tan of 60 degree? Tan of 60 is nothing but tan of 60 is 1.732. Now, if I multiply these two, I will get the value of h. Now, on multiplication, we get the value to be equal to 86.6 meter. What is meter? We know the height is measured in meter. So we have this here. I box this final value. This is how one can easily solve problems of this kind. I hope the video is useful. If you have any kind of doubt related to the topic, can you put a question in the comment section. Thanks for watching.